so welcome back to yet another video and another kind of comparison look at this doesn't say a lot but the pros know what it's about that's the new one that's the old one let me show you i am sure you all remember this beautiful pro here the solak by paragon i have this now since years and it's an amazing bow but let me first get the string out the string the bow the solak since years i have this song robert took his time and made a new version of the solak to it was a very successful model, but just to update it to his construction, like he makes all his other newer bows. And I mean, look at this. Look at this. Look at this incredible bow. Huh? Has really not much to do with the original Solag anymore. Holy moly. That's a pretty bow. And we have a string too, obviously, I guess, yep. in the tube, as we know it. So, what can I tell you? The bow is a facelift of the original, very successful model. The reason for the facelift was to bring the Solak up to the same standards as the rest of the bows. It's using the same technology, as example, the rider bow with a soft stabilizing material added to the belly side of the bow. Also the bow is featuring a phenolic reinforcement strip running in the full length of the riser section. It's reducing the flexibility in the riser and also adds extra weight in the right place of the bow. Extra weight helps to reduce any vibration in the bow structure and aids to perform katra. The old Turkish one bow set and added more denser wood to the grip area for this purpose. The phenolic strip, you can see it here this dark black line here. It uh, acts as a built-in arrow pass, which eliminates the need for additional arrow passes like the old one. CC. Structure of the bow. It's a clear fiberglass on both sides, stabilizing material on the belly side, bamboo limbs with green stain, which looks amazing. Ovan coal riser and sear sections, venom green kirinite bow tips, look cool too. Micro artificial leather grip, good. Uh, the bow has an artificial birch bark decoration with some additional paintings on the mid limb section also on the belly side of the bow. This bow has some extra features over the basic model regarding decorations. So this particular model is 600 pounds. The regular price of the new Solak is 500 British pounds. But you get a lot for this one. Holy cow. So what can I tell you now when you look at the old one and you look at the new one? The shape is not so much as the general shape, let's say, in front is the old one, back is the new one, is not so much different. You see the sears are slightly less angle in the beginning of the sear, but then the bow goes up there too, that's fine. The old one has here a big string pad, we have now a small one, but you see already here, way thinner everything way thin here so the, the, it goes here way earlier very thin and when you look at this one it's the width of my finger here this is the width of my thumb so we lose a lot of material even the whole top part here is reduced in material but he added weight in the handle so you have another weight in the right direction that makes totally sense i checked already so the old one has a uh, a length of 50 inches knock to knock, the new one 50.5 inches. The string of the old one is 45, the new one is 45. Then it starts already with the arrow pass, and there you see the old one had an arrow pass of 20 millimeters and the new one only 16 millimeters. And despite we reduced a lot of weight here, the old bow was 380 gram, the new one is 410, so you have a lot of weight more in the handle and this handle feels so much better than the old one. It, the old one was not a bad bow, don't get me wrong, but the new one is just, mm, this is just sleek. This is, oh, feels already like a performer. 
I said it's 500 pounds standard. In this version, it's 600 British pounds. You can have it from 30 to 60 pounds at 28. And the max draw is 32 inches. And he recommends in the warranty card which you get from him, always. It's a nice one, how to string and everything. And here he writes, it's a Solak serial number, poundage measured 28 is 44, and at 31 inches is 54. Recommended brace set is 8 inches. You have a string material Dacron B50, PCY B55 fast flight. Safe arrow weight is 9. Recommended minimum arrow weight is 7.5, 12 month warranty. So 9 grain per pound is your arrow weight you can go down to seven and a half but then be mindful if you live in in climate where it's very hot or humid i would not go always to the limit then so but nine eight something there i prepared arrows there roughly nine and roughly seven and a half and we see what these bows are doing oh, it is a little fresh fresh today so this is all i have to tell you for now now it's time to string them the old one was already not as large a really good bow but of course it makes sense to update the model to his build, how he makes now all his bows. So that's just logic. So you see that one is strong, easy peasy, looking good. This direction very flexible, here a little stiffer. And here, okay, so now the new one. So much more elegant. Was easy too. Now you see here, you feel already here it's a little stiffer, but in this direction, holy cow, there is stiff. So this one here doesn't move at all. This one here was still quite flexible in this direction. So there you see already what went into this bow. And when you now compare them, the finer shape is almost similar you see that the new one starts early with the bend goes earlier down and then smooths out outside a bit more for the rest not so much difference but i guess it will make a difference i mean look at this thinner thinner more lightweight but more weight in the handle this one feels already great but this one and we have now even a whipping here for safety and it looks good I mean this bow is just beautiful holy moly that should now first the old one it should first the carbon arrow Let's see what it does and I prepared yesterday a lot of thumb rings and today they don't fit this is so horrible We slow, heavy arrows. Wood arrow. Uh, yeah, but it's, you know, this bow is just a performer. Let's see one of these arrows here. Ah. See that red arrow? This is where the fun begins. Yep, way nicer. Oh, bear shaft. Let's see what the bear shaft will do. Oh, yeah, bad shot. He's still shooting, so we can still shoot. So, on this bow at the end 28, 29, 30, 31. So, after 30, the old one gets a little stiff. And now the new one. First the heavy wood arrows, they are roughly 9 grain per pound. Oh, nice a draw. So we are not there yet. Oh, hi, nice. You 
you feel that the premium bow. Yep, now we're getting there. Yep, nine grain is fine. Seven and a half grain. <laughs> yeah. No, now we're talking. Then you feel it a little bit in the hand, but it's fine. It's stiff too, but I think it takes a while. Let's shoot a bear shaft. If I can do that properly, let's see. Yeah, still a little. But oh, takes still a little. Just the first shots. It's fresh. Big two marks. Thumb protector. I shoot only the lightweight arrows now. So luck for a long time. But once you get there and a little heavier one. Just fine. So put now the new one. Yeah, this is the what's a heavier row? Way nicer. Oh, yeah, now we're talking. So, with these arrows, I feel it a little in the hand. But they might go away. So, now let's look what the bear shaft will do. Nah, not so bad either. Holy cow! So I feel it a little in the hand. But, holy cow. Accurate bear shaft. Always shows how bad you shoot. <laughs> Even me. Yeah, a bit off. But for the rest, a group like this, out of the box, this bow is incredible. So of course you traditionalists, you like your wood arrows and they work just fine. These are a little heavy, but they're just fine. And the bow opens up now, draws now smooth and nicer as before. I look at this, it's no problem. Heavy arrows. Taurus from Bamboo Archery in Malaysia, a little heavy too. And another wood arrow. And another wood arrow. A bit too heavy still. Then the more lightweight ones. Ah, it's too loud here. 
And no matter what you throw at them, they work. Speed test of the old tool look, you know, you can watch the video. I put the link in the description. These arrows are a little heavy. Didn't measure, wonderful. Too much sun. Morgan. Morgan. 123, I don't think so. 144, I'm test the light with once. Ninety two, hundred ninety four, and the bear shaft in the same weight, hundred ninety nine. So you reach two hundred foot per second. Great shooter. I need to stop now. Too many people. Look at this. So, with your wood arrows and the Ottoman style. No problem. Now the boat rolls nice, see? Now 31. There's another problem. Maybe 32. Opens up slowly. That's it from my side. Now you saw that the old Solak and the new Solak are very different bow. So it's already from, I mean, the old Solak was already an awesome bow, but here you see a little slag and the draw. Yeah, it's still, it's still a nice awesome bow, but <laughs> not so much slag. Handle smaller, narrow arrow pass. And this draw is just, and this, what I like on this bow is here, torque resistant, really, compared to the old one. There with torque and katra, but the new one, so totally no problem. And it's a beautiful bow. So this is, I really like this bow. So Robert, really nice, really, really nice. I'm not the greatest fan of, of, of Ottoman bows, but this one, holy cow. I really do like this one and it makes sense to have here this inlay so you don't need an arrow pass extra stuff you know weaken everything again makes so much sense this bow is just working for me the bow is silent but I feel a little in the hand even with the heavier arrows but that might go away and for the rest here you feel a little bit in the hand for one one two three seconds but there's almost nothing, one, two, three, nothing in the limb. So I guess this will go away. Here you feel it a little bit in the hand, but this is normal, can go away. Incredible bow. So what can I say? Should you upgrade when you have the old one? Just to have the newest on technology, more speed, more refined, but it's, you know, it's 500 pounds. Not sure the old one is still pretty good. If you don't have one, for sure, check this one out. We, we all get price-wise now in a premium league. So, you know, even the, the Chu 2 from Alibo is a $520, this one is 500 pounds. So this is now the price you pay for a good laminated bow. And this one is a premium laminated bow. I mean, compared to the Simons Bow Company, there you're still maybe a little more. So, but it's worth it. So you get here a tool which just works, gives you instant confidence. You know what this bow is doing. This bow gives you feedback and it's not a slouch. So 200 foot per second is possible. I just had not the right arrows with me today. I don't have arrows anymore, I just figured. But this one, really worth checking out. Robert, 
thank you so much for sending this one to me. I mean, I already appreciated the old one, but the new one is is really. It's not a younger brother. Is it's like from a different family. This difference is incredible. Incredible. Thank you very much for sending it to me. Thank you, Robert, for being an awesome bow maker. I really do like this bow. Thank you very much to Bogenspot Pottenbrunn, which gave me a new home where I can do my videos. It's only always a little tricky now. There are a lot of people there, and then it's a little hard to do my videos. But it's fine. Thank you for that. And you all out there, please hit now the subscribe button. 80% of you watching me right now are not subscribed. Click it. Doesn't cost anything. It's just move with the mouse, click it, subscribe. Helps the channel, helps the algorithm, and helps Archery in general. Thank you for watching. I catch you in the next one.